Hey guys, welcome to another episode here at Big Man Awards. Now, I'm not in the Scout Hall, I'm not in the Shared. I'm in a theatre. This is a different theatre I'm used to. Well, in fact, I'm here at the Apollo Hammersmith. It's quite nice to be in a local venue, actually. Uh, why am I here? It's a gang show celebrating 90 years of the gang show that's been around in the UK. There's a cast list of 157 young people, uh, explorers, all here going to entertain us tonight. Um, you can see what's happening. Like I say, 90 years since the first uh, gang show that Ralph did all those years ago to actually fundraise for a local swimming pool for a scout group. Um, and they continue doing all over the years and the only time it's ever stopped is during the war. And in fact, Ralph then entertained the RAF who was in with similar uh, gang show styles for the RAF troops to keep them. So we're gonna see what we can get. I don't know how much footage I can get of the gang show, but we'll see what happens. And uh, yeah, I'm buzzing already. Look at it, look at this. some of the cast who are taking part tonight's Gang Show 90 and asked them why do they do gang shows? Here's what they said. Uh, I'm Zoe and I'm from, um, I can't remember, set first Ishka Explorers. Awesome. I'm Amy and I'm from first Ishka Explorers. And what, what do you do in the gang show? What's, what's your thing? Are you singing, dancing? All of it, actually, apart from acting, but we're doing all of it. Yeah. <laughs> Lots of dancing, it's very warm. <laughs> and what's your favorite dance? Um, London is London. I like Kamsi Nice. Even. And how, is this your first gang show? Have you done lots of gang shows? I've been in gang show for years. Uh, I started in 2016 and have carried on since then. So I've done like seven, seven-ish shows. Nice. And is this something you want to do? You want to go, kind of do acting for a career or? Uh, mainly as a hobby, but it would be great to do it as a career. Nice. Yeah. Well, good luck for the show. Thank Enjoy you. it and celebrate 90 years of gang show. Woo. Nice. Woo. Nine years. <laughs> Okay, here we are with Jevon, and rumor is you are opening the gang show today. Oh yes, I, I am opening the show with the solo from uh, The Greatest Showman called The Greatest Show, the opening track of the film. Uh, I'm really excited for it. I cannot wait to um, yeah get the opportunity to sing my heart out to yeah, yeah. several thousand people. Ninety years of the gang show. What, what do you think is going to come tonight? What do you think? Any magical moments? I think this show for certain can definitely sum up where Gang Show has gone uh, from 90 years ago up till now. It's going to give, uh, give an explanation of the whole timeline. It's going to show how much development there's been. And it's also going to stick very true to its roots, uh, sharing songs from Ralph Reader and the 19, um, 1930s. And yeah, all that stuff, we're, we're staying very true to Gang Show and true to what Gang Show nice. means. And how many Gang Shows have you done? So this will be my sixth. I've done five gang shows with St. Albans Scout and Guide gang show uh, from 2016 to 2020. Took a bit of time off from COVID. Uh, and now I'm back and yeah, really excited for Opening my sixth show. gang show. Nice, well, all the best. Hope it goes well. Um, I'm Chris, so I'm from a town called Corby in Northamptonshire. And what, what's your role in the, in the gang show? Uh, my role in the gang show is mainly as part of the cast. I have a special little bit in Sailor Dreamboat, but mainly as part of the main cast and right. I'm loving it. How many gang shows have you done? I've done, I think we worked out about 16 gang shows, or so somewhere around about that. Wowzers. Yeah. And what's your, what's your favourite part? My favourite part is uh, the absolute buzz you get when you're on stage, especially when you sing Christopher Wave with everyone with you, and it's just the absolute electric feeling of it all happening. It's really, really, I, I can't get enough of it. That's why I've kept coming back. Yeah, I know. And gang shows, do they always end with Crest of the Wave? Um, almost all gang shows end with Crest of the Wave, yeah. And it's it's a really classic song that kind of ties all of us together and makes us all part of the same. Yeah, man. Awesome. And what are you going to do in the show tonight? 
Um, well, my favorite thing in the show tonight is uh, our beach number. I get to dress up in a really, really awesome American beach outfit. Nice. Um, that and Sail Your Dream Boat, because I really love dancing the waltz. Awesome. Well, have a great show. Thank you very much. Enjoy it. Thank you very much. No worries. That's why the young people do the gang shows. They really enjoy it. They love singing. And I'm really looking forward to uh, Crest of the Wave. Uh, that always traditionally ends the gang show. I haven't been to a gang show actually for just probably 10 years the, um, where I'm the county and the district. We don't do gang shows anymore. Probably a whole load of reasons. So for a national gang show to literally come to town just around the corner, I, I, I had to be here. It's absolutely brilliant and I'm really buzzing. It's going to be a good night. So everyone who is front of house, everyone's behind the scenes, the choreographers, um, the dress rehearsal, everyone is uh, scout leaders. The only one uh, even the band, they're all volunteers and they're all scout leaders. Uh, the music director, he's a scout leader as well. So the whole process and all people behind the scenes are all scout leaders as well. show just coming outside awesome really love it buzzing and the crowd enjoyed it and I think I'm gonna head back to bed and I'll give you a little recap in the morning of how the show went but right now I'll see you later from the house of Holly. I reckon Ralph Reader would be so proud of those young people standing on Hammersmith Apollo singing acting, dancing, all trying to make us scout leaders and family and friends entertained on a good Saturday night. I really enjoyed it. I haven't been to a gang show for probably about 10 years, to be honest with me. Um, and I really miss them. Really good fun. And it's part of the heart of scouting, isn't it? You know, we all know someone about who's been in a gang show and worn the famous red necker. Would I like to have been in a gang show? Of course. <laughs> You never know, maybe it's uh, inspired someone in my county who have watched it and thought, you know what, we need to bring back a gang show to our county or even my district. That'll be, that'll be amazing. Uh, so what did I think of the show? It was brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Um, you know, there was a lot of kind of scouting jokes, a lot of skits. I really enjoyed it. Um, I don't want to say too much um, because you should have been there. Do you know what I mean? That's why it's lovely that we weren't allowed to record anything. We weren't allowed to take videos. We just had to sit in the theatre and enjoy ourselves rather than watching it through a phone like everyone does when they go to a concert. So it was great to sit back with like-minded scouters, everyone laughing, everyone joking, everyone singing along. Um, and it's kind of inspired me to go on YouTube and actually learn the lyrics to Riding on the Crest of the Wave. I've heard it a few times, but I've never been to a gang show long enough for me to kind of work out that I need to learn the lyrics. Uh, the last few days I've been on Spotify trying to find gang show playlists and just singing my heart out while listening my, uh, in my headphones and my, my family looking at me crazy while I'm singing and dancing, <laughs> learning uh, the lyrics to On the Crest of the Wave. <laughs> One day I'm going to sing it to you guys, so be careful. Uh, so what do I think of the performance? It's weird because, as I said in the vlog, I've been to the Apollo many times to see different um, musicians and the last comedian, I think I said I was, I saw Jimmy Carr there and I was privileged enough to go backstage and stand on that very spot and stuff. If I was after a highly polished West End show, then a scout gang show isn't that. It's about like everyone just chipping in and having fun and they might not be the best West End singer or dancer, but it's about them getting on stage, whether they're a Beaver Cub Scout. In this case, it was some scout explorers and some network leaders. They were on there um, and just being proud and being, you know what? I might not be the greatest singer, but I've got enough guts to get on stage in front of a couple of thousand people and entertain them. That's what scouting is all about. It's about being resilient and digging deep. I really enjoyed it. And yeah, there might have been a few occasions when a microphone didn't work or a spotlight wasn't on the right person or someone was dancing out of tune, out of tune. Someone was dancing out of step. But that for me made it. That was, that was brilliant. And if I went there and it was a high polished West End show, I would have enjoyed it. Yeah. 
But I like just those little, little things. I'm not saying that's a bad thing at all on the Gang Show 90. I really enjoyed it. And to think that they've been uh, rehearsing online during COVID. They've only met up a few times. They've done it more or less rehearsing in a campsite. And the first time they got to Apollo was 3 p.m. that afternoon. The stage was built um, access at 6 a.m. in the morning. So they had a few times to rehearse on the stage. Uh, when I got there, I think they'd done two or three rehearsals. Um, so that's why. But that makes a gang show when things go slightly wrong. It wasn't obvious. No one knew that they went wrong. Um, it was a bit... Okay, when the spotlights didn't go on. But that's me trying to be Simon Cowell and trying to look for faults. I went to be entertained on a Saturday night. Better than watching Ant and Deck and whatever else is on. Did I enjoy it? Absolutely. 100%. And I know all the scouters that went there, even if they weren't connected with someone in the gang show, uh, we all had a great time and I was talking to people out in the foyer and everyone was dancing, everyone was singing, everyone was so happy. It was brilliant. What was the favourite part of the show? Two parts. It featured a young lady here uh, who sung Puppy Love. I didn't get her name, but she was absolutely amazing. And if you know her, give her lots of credit. And the second part was uh, a bit of a watery eye, actually. A bit of dust in my eyes, as they say, is when the members of the London Gang Show Fellowship, they came up on stage um, and there was lots of members um, and people going back as far as uh, Fred Reed from 1950 absolutely lovely and there was i think it was about 10 of these um london gang show fellowship members on the stage all singing and all dancing with the cast lovely so if you're thinking about going to a gang show or even thinking maybe we should start a gang show do it you don't have to be as big as the gang show 90 and hire out the hammer Apollo. doing your scout hut keep it local keep it maybe just to the family in your scout group and then make it a bit bigger for the district. I don't know, but what I would say, have a go at the gang show and you never know, you might get your red necker. I want one. I need to find a gang show.